Hello friends, hope you will be doing awesomely well. So, your exams are coming very near and I know you all are, have started giving your extra effort and so I thought I should also give some extra effort so that you, uh, you are able to revise things in a better and faster way. So this is my extra effort making more videos uh, and taking time from my schedule to help you guys. So these are uh, something which you need to revise because they are confusing and you might confuse in front of your computer screen. So let us revise things. Uh, we will be making very small videos so that uh, we also don't wait lo don't waste lot of time. So these are some the some of the confusing things which might confuse you. So Meckel's diverticulum is basically a remnant of vital line duct. Ligamentum venosus venosum is remnant of ductus venosus. Ligamentum arteriosum is remnant of ductus arteriosum. So venosum venosus arteriosum arteriosus only ligamentum is changing to ductus ligamentum venosum ductus venosus ligamentum arteriosum ductus arteriosus now another two important thing median and medial so median is remnant of uracus while medial l is remnant of umbilical artery so a l and a l medial umbilical so medial umbilical ligament are remnant of two umbilical arteries so ul ul is coming in medial and umbilical while median is remnant of uracus so i hope you will not mistake it during your final exams another important thing is this some accepts in your exam i will make myself more smaller so that you can see everything so all intrinsic muscles of larynx are supplied by recurrent laryngeal nerve except one tensor muscle that is cricothyroid supplied by external laryngeal nerve all muscle of tongue are supplied by hypoglossal nerve except palatoglossal supplied by pharyngeal plexus now something important about pharyngeal plexus you know pharyngeal plexus supplies all muscles of pharynx except one stylopharyngeus which is supplied by glossopharyngeus glossopharyngeal nerve all muscle of soft palate are supplied by this same pharyngeal plexus except tensor palati which is supplied by nerve to pterygoid so i think lots of mcqs will be from this confusing portion and now it is very clear to you now something very important topic amyloidosis Every year they are asking to things from amyloidosis. These are some important stuffs from amyloidosis. And you need to go in detail also. So amyloid protein associated with primary is AL. With secondary is AA. And with cardiac amyloidosis is ATTR. Most common site of amyloidosis is kidney followed by liver. Although it differs in different conditions. You know one thyroid carcinoma is associated with amyloid stroma that is the medullary CA thyroid. Best diagnostic method is the rectal biopsy. You have to do a biopsy of rectum to diagnose amyloidosis. It is the best one actually. Congo red stains amyloid into pink color in case of ordinary light. Okay, but in case of polarizing light like here, it will stain the amyloid in yellow green fringes so this conclude my this small video in an attempt to make you revise things which you are which are very well volatile but are equally very important and i hope it helped you so do uh, give your feedbacks comments and let me know how it is helping you because this is these are the things which motivate me to make videos and help you so all the very best guys Stay hard, study uh, in your means giving your full at full hundred percent effort and stay motivated. So thank you for patient listening. This is Dr. Shivam signing off.